Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome. On a day in which the gritty football Cardinals clawed their way back to the 500 mark for the first time in 10 weeks, and in so doing, kept alive their very real hopes of landing a wild card playoff berth. Playing today at 80 degree heat, the Cardinals methodically tore apart the Tampa Bay Bucks by the score of 31 to 14. For the highlights, let's go to Tampa Stadium where just 31,000 fans showed up to watch and they saw Vinny Testaverde go to work early. On Tampa Bay's first possession, he looked to the left, then rolled right, hit Gerald Carter behind Carl Carter for 39 yards down to the 10-yard line. Then later it was Vinny rolling right, looking to his tight end, Ron Hall. Did Ron Hall catch the ball in the end zone? Well, you make the call on Hall. At first, the official said no, but they looked at the replay and decided to change the decision. The referee ruled it a score. Tampa Bay led seven to nothing. And they were looking for more later first quarter, but Bobby Howard on third down in Cardinal territory coughed up the ball when hit from behind by Leonard Smith. Cedric Mack made the recovery at the 15 yard line. Cardinals dodging the bullet. Then they went to work offensively second quarter. Stump Mitchell 101 yards on the day. This run set up the Cards first touchdown of the afternoon. It came when Lomax looked for Jay Novacek, found him, he got a great block from Troy Johnson, went in for the score, game tied seven seconds, early second quarter. Then Tampa Bay with a field goal attempt from 48 yards out, but the Cards coming up with a big play, blocking that field goal attempt at the line of scrimmage. Little Donald Ikwe Buike ended up with the football and a peck of trouble as the Cardinals buried him. Later the Cardinals going to work, got a break, Lomax off the hand of Stump Mitchell to J.T. Smith in the right place at the right time for the reception. They later marched in for the score. Lomax going to J.T. for the touchdown. The NFL's leading receiver with five catches, including that one, to pay dirt today. Cards led 14-7 late second quarter. Vinny Testaverde tried to bring the Bucks back just before halftime. But with a three-man rush, Freddie Joe Nunn broke loose and sacked Vinny. Cards up by seven at intermission. And then they began to put it away third quarter. Testaverde early on throwing back for Jeff Smith. Jeff Smith, hit by two Cardinals, fumbled the football. And who recovered? Cedric Mack. Another fumble recovery for Cedric. That led this Al Del Greco field goal from 28 yards out. Cards opening it up to 17 to 7. It looked like they'd go on top by more from the defense. EJ Jr. with the interception. Looked like he was going to score, but he was hit from behind. Fumble the ball. It was ruled a fumble. No touchdown. Bucks took over. But did the Cards let that bit of bad luck deter them? Only momentarily, because when they got the ball back third quarter, Lomax went to work once again. Neil Lomax completed 12 consecutive passes in this ballgame. That one to Roy Green. And then he cashed in going to the tight end Robert Awalt. Three catches, including one for a score for Awalt. Cards led 24 to 7. And Lomax was hot to the fourth quarter. Roy Green getting behind everybody. Had to wait for the ball. Nevertheless, this reception by Roy, one of five he had on the afternoon, went for a 47 yard gain and set up the Cards' last score of the afternoon. Stump Mitchell going over the 100 yard mark for the third consecutive time, took it in. Stump Mitchell making $30,000 in bonuses the last three weeks. Tampa Bay scored one more score, but it was Cedric Mack with an interception to close off their last drive. Cedric coming back to the ankle injury, two fumble recoveries, an interception. What a game he played. Cards won it 31 to 14. Now, if the Cards win at Dallas next week, and if Minnesota loses to Washington, and if the Rams lose to either Dallas tomorrow or at San Francisco next Sunday, then the football Cardinals will make the playoffs. At any rate, they have an outstanding chance. They're still in it after their win today. And our Bill Davis is standing by at Lambert Airport where the team has just arrived. With him is Gene Stallings. Let's go live to Bill. Zip, one of the most impressive things about today's victory was not only, of course, the fact that the Cardinals won, but how they won thoroughly dominating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers nearly the entire game. Well, it was. It was, uh, it was really a good game for us. And, you know, we started off a little shaky, and, and that really sort of shows the character of this football team because we came back and, and really dominated the game right there at the last. They made a few yards and picked up a touchdown, and we, we lose an onside kick that I hate to see that happen, but uh, we would pretty well had the game. And, uh, Gene, as you had mentioned, uh, one of the things that's uh, really quite nice is, is to be this far along in the season and still have a shot at the player. Well, it is. It's just uh, somebody was asking me in the press conference after the game that I feel like that uh, when we were 2-5, and five, we would be 7-7 uh, seven seven at one time. And, and, you know, I really wasn't sure that that was, a, a, you know, a possibility. But these guys have played so hard, and, and they're beginning to make things happen. And that's what you win. You win with football players making plays. And, and we're making the plays both offensively, defensively, and also in the kicking game. Cedric Mack comes back after an absentia because of injury. 
he played beautifully. Well, he, he got two uh, formal recoveries and an interception. It's really a great play right there at the latter part of the game. And then the other part of his man to man techniques and the way he was playing defense and coming up and hitting people. Uh, you wouldn't know that he missed a couple of games and maybe the layoff was good for him. Who knows? But he really played well. Neil Lomax, three more touchdown passes. Some feel it's another, or it's a Pro Bowl year for him. Well, it is Pro Bowl year. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm not going to campaign, but, uh, you know, the guy's played so well. Uh, you know, he's one of the real keys uh, of the success that we're having. And, and I don't know, he completed like 22 out of 30 and, and only had one interception. And he's just having a remarkable year. He got a total grasp of what we're trying to do and, and running the team really outstanding. All right, next up, the Dallas Cowboys. Last week, because of inclement weather, you headed to Tampa Bay early to prepare for the Buccaneers. Any chance of you doing that this week in anticipation of the Dallas game? Well, it depends on what the weather is. You know, this this is a little different. You know, we got Christmas coming up, and a lot of the players have children, and coaches have children. And But if the weather's bad, I, I'm going to, I'll make the decision, or at least I'll recommend to Mr. Bedwell, he makes final decision on uh, whatever I think is in the best interest of the football team. Big Red head coach Gene Stallings. Thanks much, Gene, and continued success. I'm Bill Davis reporting live from Lambert Field. All right, Bill. I think you have to give the Big Red players, the coaching staff, and that man, Gene Stallings, a great deal of credit no matter what happens next week. First of all, the coaches and players had to pick up the pieces after the players strike. Then they had to live through the major distraction caused by the team owner telling the county executive the team was going to move. Then they had to deal with losing five of their first seven games and with playing in a half-empty stadium week after week at home. But through it all, they have persevered, and what an accomplishment it would be if the Cardinals can go on and make the playoffs. It's very possible.